News Leader 9's Lori Bernstein joins us live from there with the latest. Well, Wayne, I'm standing on what used to be Fred Peak's home contracting office. The back of the building, two thirds of it, is literally gone. I mean, look at this destruction. The tornado just blew by here, and you can really see the path. Let's take a walk. You can see all of the wood, all of the bricks, all over the place. And right over here, if you take a look to my left, this is what's left of a turf lawn management service called Turf Management Systems. Completely gone. The roof caved in over the company vehicles last night as that EF tornado came through. But these businesses weren't the only ones damaged in the area. News Leader 9's Chauncey Glover is live from the Maker Road intersection. He has tonight's top story. Well, Barbara, it's a U-turn sign, and I'm sure many of us have made this U-turn here at this intersection off Macon Road, but now it could cost us a $125 ticket. And trust me, police are watching. Continuing our coverage of flood damage in Columbus tonight is News Leader 9's Chauncey Glover. He's live tonight in South Columbus. Chauncey, what can you tell us? Well, Andrew, the owner of this house, Mr. Robert Loving, is not calling this flood damage. Instead, he says this is due to an inadequate drainage system of the city. Now, let me put things in perspective for you. I'm about five foot nine tall, and the water is hitting right here at my knees. Uh, the water is receding now. The water level is, but you can tell here on this house that line, that's how high the water got earlier today. Now, our newsroom was flooded with emails and phone calls about flood damage from Russell County to Phoenix City to right here in Columbus. We we hit the streets and this is what we found. News Leader 9's Chris Vessel is braving the cold with more on what you need to know, Chris. Well, Kurt, with temperatures well below freezing this week, you don't want to end up somewhere on the side of the road. That's why making some minor checks on your car can go a long way. We talked with a mechanic at Tire Pro on Bradley Park Drive today on tips you can use to prepare your car for the cold weather.